Life as a freelancer, an entrepreneur or a self-employed person is never easy. You're always stuck in two extremes. Either you're working too hard or you're working too less. In today's video, I want to talk about three mindset shifts that you need to make if you are a full-time self-employed person or you're building your own business. These tips will help you take care of your mental health and make sure that you can become successful in your ventures without burning out. First tip I want to talk about today is how you need to embrace weekends wholeheartedly. When I was working in a full-time job, weekends were the time I used to build my business. I used to spend that time writing or building my online assets so I can one day successfully transition into being a full-time writer. So there was a quote that I read somewhere that if you want to design the life of your dreams, you need to work during the week on your job and during the weekends, you need to design your dream life. And that's what I was doing. And that is why I was never free during the weekends. I was always working and my friends were frustrated. My social life suffered a lot. But now that I have transitioned into being a full-time writer, I use the weekends to take a break. Otherwise, if I find myself working during the weekends, it's very hard to take a break from work. And if your brain doesn't switch off at least for two days during the week, it can become very overwhelming and you might start hating your work as well. That's why it's very important to force yourself to take a break from work and use the weekends to chill and enjoy the other aspects of your life. Another thing that you can do during the weekends is use them to review the work that you have done in the previous week. You can take your calendar or your to-do list and see which tasks you managed to perform, what was left behind and what can be shifted to the next week, etc. This way, when you review, you're also going to end up planning your next week. Here are three ways you can embrace the weekend wholeheartedly as a self-employed person or a freelancer. One, take a break from work. Two, review the past week and analyze what was left and why. And three, plan your week ahead so you are successful in the next week as well. The second mindset shift I want to talk about for you to have success as a freelancer, a businessman or an entrepreneur is you need to learn to identify the subtle signs of burnout. When you are working on your dream project, it's, it's very easy to get 100% involved in it and center all your life decisions around your business. In such cases, it's very difficult to recognize the early warning signs of burnout. Nobody likes to be burnt out and start hating everything in their life, right? So here are the five subtle signs of burnout that you need to recognize early. Number one, you are exhausted all the time. You find yourself tired physically and mentally all the time and there's very little enthusiasm left to do some new things. If you feel you are at that stage where you're exhausted, Please, please, please take a break from work. Ensure that you have a healthy work-life balance and you don't spend all your waking time working or even thinking about work. Number two, you can't connect with anyone or anything. You feel so into your job or your business that you are isolated from all the people and things in your life. It's very difficult for you to connect with anyone or feel a sense of kinship with the people around you. If you are in that boat, then please force yourself to socialize. When I was building my business, I was also in the same place where I did not want to socialize because I couldn't relate with anyone around me. But this is not a healthy sign and it can lead to severe bad effects later on. To make sure it doesn't happen, please go meet your friends, talk to at least five people in a day, have conversations that aren't centered around work, and you will find yourself getting better, slowly but surely. The third subtle sign of burnout is that you fantasize about escaping all the time. Whether it might be escaping your job, escaping your home, your city, your country, but thinking about an escape all the time is definitely not a healthy sign. One way to fix this is to select a specific time frame for work and only work during that time. During the rest of the day, you can actually spend that time to do the things that you fantasize about. Take a small holiday. Take yourself out on a solo day. Go out and watch a movie with your friends. Do something that's not work related and I think your escapist fantasies will lessen at least a little. The fourth sign is you get angry for no reason. Whether it be simple tasks like going out grocery shopping or taking your dog for a walk, you feel angry and frustrated and you don't have the energy to actually do that task. If you are in that boat, then maybe you need to sleep more. 
According to the Sleep Foundation, eight hours of sleep is necessary for healthy adults. So if you feel angry all the time, just make sure you're sleeping. You'll be surprised how magically a good night's sleep can improve your mood and your overall health. The fifth sign of burnout is you feel your health declining day by day. It might be you get frequent headaches, stomach aches or high blood pressure and all of these are subtle signs of burnout. Please do not ignore them. A proper diet and exercise and a good sleep cycle can fix all of these things. But before you fix the problem, you need to recognize that it's an issue and accept it. These were the five subtle signs of burnout. If you relate with even a single one of them, please take care, my dear friend. If you reach the phase of burnout once, it's very difficult to come back from it. The third mindset shift of taking care of yourself better as a freelancer or a self-employed person is you need to learn to forgive yourself. This, in the book, The Four Commandments by Don Miguel Riz, I read this quote that humans are the only animals on the planet who are capable of punishing themselves over and over again for the same mistake. You might find yourself overthinking at night, regretting some decision you took several weeks back. But trust me, dwelling on your past mistakes is not going to help you in any way. Instead of feeling bad about yourself, focus on what's next. Don't go into the panic mode, but go into the problem solver mode. Once you get into the mindset that you are capable of solving your own problems, then you will understand that everything in life is figure outable. No mistake can damage you forever. And if you want, you can actually pull yourself out of any bad situation you find yourself in. But before you get there, you need to learn how to forgive yourself. What are your thoughts on this? Do let me know in the comments. So these were the three subtle mindset shifts that you need to have when you are a freelancer or self-employed person. These will not only push you towards your success, but these will also help you take care of yourself better. The first is embrace the weekends wholeheartedly, use them to take a break, review your previous week and plan the week ahead. The second is learn to recognize the subtle early warning signs of burnout. And the third is learn to forgive your own mistakes. No matter how bad they are, there's always a way you can move ahead. I hope you found some value in this video. If you know somebody who might benefit from watching this, please do share it with them. Don't forget to let me know your thoughts in the comments. Also, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss out on future content like this. I will see you again soon with another new video. Until then, stay awesome and keep smiling. Cheers!